Okay, can everybody grab their chairs because we're squeezed for time. We're waiting for a third speaker. He is uh, he's just arriving. Okay, um, what we had in mind uh, uh, for this panel was having listened to the to the ambassadors, um, the views of their representatives in in Washington uh, from uh, Turkey, Kazakhstan, and Lithuania. We'd hear from the the ministries. Unfortunately, somebody could not come from the Lithuanian uh, ministry. Uh, but nonetheless, we had an eloquent ex explanation of their point of view um, in the previous panel. Uh, so we do have representatives from uh, uh, Turkey, again, Kazakhstan, again. And uh, we also have uh, um, somebody who's been following this issue very closely uh, from uh, within the, uh, the Turkish uh, uh, foreign ministry. Now, I will uh, not dwell too long because we are really uh, squeezed for time on the, uh, uh, the distinguished backgrounds of... Uh, of our uh, speakers, but I'll introduce each one of them very uh, quickly. The first uh, to my left will be, if I can find it on my um, uh, on my list, is Ambassador Bulan Tulun, who is the CICA task force uh, leader, as is described at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, in Turkey. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, I will not dwell on the uh, distinguished backgrounds, so I will uh, move right on. You, you do have his background in the, uh, the list as well. Uh, we're very pleased to have him here. Uh, we're also very pleased to have Ambassador Dulat Bakishev, who previously um, uh, was the CICA Executive Director and still follows the CICA at the, uh, at the uh, Foreign Ministry in, in Kazakhstan, along with the OIC. And our third speaker is Ambassador Ersin Erçin, was a special envoy of the President of the Republic of Turkey for European uh, Security. Again, his bio is uh, uh, in front of you, and I will, uh, like I said, uh, in the interest of saving time, I'll now proceed directly to Ambassador Tulum. Thank you very much. I first of all would like to thank the uh, CSIS administration for organizing uh, this meeting. From our perspective, this is a very timely uh, meeting to introduce the SICA and also the uh, explore the possibilities of cooperation between uh, OSC and SICA. And also my special thanks go to the, our ambassador in Washington, Ambassador Tan. We know that the, the Turkish embassy here in the cooperation with the Kazakh embassy, uh, they are trying to, to introduce SICA and the, it's very important for the SICA chairmanship. So in that respect, I would like to thank the ambassador, ambassador Tan, for and the Turkish embassy for their efforts. The, uh, from my perspective, the uh, this is a timely gathering, and the, in fact, the topic is uh, thought-provoking. The OSC is a very well-known uh, organization to the international uh, community. It's a senior and regional organization dealing with the security uh, and stability studies ranging from Vancouver to Vladivostok, and in that respect, OSC is uh, uh, well known, I, I think, the most of us. But the, uh, I wonder the same is true for uh, SICA. Uh, Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures uh, in Asia, it's rather a young and lesser known uh, organization or process uh, dealing with the security and stability uh, in Asia. While I say Asia, it's a little bit generic term because the, 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 if we look at the members of SICA countries, it's ranging starting from the Turkey and also to Egypt, and it extends up until Korea. So the, maybe the word Asia is a little bit generic in that sense because at the beginning of the, the, the first panel, uh, the member countries were pronounced and uh, most, uh, it's a diverse membership. And the, there are a number of uh, countries which now 24 with the inclusion of Cambodia very recently. And the, uh, in that sense, I should say that the, the SICA, uh, in fact, a little bit sui generis organization. It was also mentioned by Ambassador uh, uh, Tan and also the Ambassador Idriso, uh, that the, the SICA uh, brings together the member countries 
sometimes which have diametrically opposed views on certain issues. It was also mentioned that the Israel, Iran, Pakistan, India, Palestine, uh, these are all members of uh, SICA. And the, I should say that the bringing all these countries around the same table is in fact by itself a confidence building measure from my personal perspective. I have been dealing with the arms control issues approximately for 20 years. I served in the NATO, in OSC, in capital dealing with the arms control issues uh, for years. But I, and I, I participated in a number of negotiations, including the CFE and the, all the other nuclear issues. But I should say that the, the negotiations in SICA is very interesting. Sometimes it's like a small UN. The, when you discuss something or to negotiate something in OSC or in uh, NATO, you have uh, certain views. You, know, you predict the uh, reactions of countries. But the, it's not possible to, uh, to uh, guess the reactions of the countries while discussing something in SICA. So from my perspective, that's why SICA is a unique organization. And the, uh, it, uh, it's, uh, it's in need of interest from the international community. When we uh, took over the chairmanship of SICA, in the certain Turkish newspapers, there were headings. And I should say that one of the most interesting headings was a SICA unique group of dissimilars. So this is, in fact, an interesting uh, reference to, to, to SICA. Uh, from my perspective, it's a true reflection uh, of the, the nature of uh, SICA. That's why I am mentioning that the uh, bringing all these countries together is in fact a really a confidence building measure for the international uh, security and stability. Uh, the main idea behind the multilateralism and multinational forum is to set the, the joint agenda together. Multilateralism needs cooperation and coalition with other states, and in fact, cooperation and idea of coali coalition bring to the fore the notion of uh, compromise. In that respect, maybe there is a need to very uh, briefly refer to the basic documents of uh, SICA. We have in the Conference on Interaction and Confidence Building Measures in Asia, we have two basic documents. The first document is the 1999 Declaration on the Principles Guiding Relations Between the SICA Member Countries, States, and the second one is the Almaty Act of 2002. In these documents, the member states of SICA declare their commitments to the purposes and principles of the UN Charter. You can see each and every document of the SICA uh, very specific references to the UN Charter and the, the objectives of the, the, the UN. And also, uh, it refers to the uh, territorial integrity of member states, peaceful settlement of disputes, disarmament, arms control, economic, social, cultural cooperation, human rights, and fundamental freedoms. These are, in fact, all of them, if we look very closely to the objectives of SICA, the, all the notions we are using in SICA, it's very much similar to the Helsinki uh, Decalogue of the CSC OSC. There are numerous references in the SICA documents to the uh, notions which were uh, put into practice by OSC, like the indivisibility of security, like the comprehensive concept of security, like the cooperative security. You can find out all these concepts in the OSC documents. These are the basic notions of OSC. And you can find out all these notions, all these concepts, also in the SICA documents. It's not a replica of OSC, but the number of these concepts were uh, bought from OSC. And these are international concepts. And it's not a coincidence that the also SICA, as a younger uh, and lesser known organization, also trying to develop uh, measures concerning the security and 
uh, stability in the uh, Sika geography. Our motto in chairmanship, you know, the, the objective of the Turkish chairmanship, we took over the chairmanship from Kazakhstan for the, the years uh, 2010, uh, 2012. And by the way, I should say that the, our Kazakh brothers in our uh, usual terminology, they did a very good job, incredible job to form an organization like SICA, and they steered this uh, process and organization very effectively in a very successful way since its inception. And of course, we are grateful to Kazakhstan and the, uh, the President Nazarbayev. This is not a lip service, by the way. They did a very good job. Thank you very much. The, uh, our motto for the uh, Turkish chairmanship is in fact constructing cooperative security in Asia. This is a notion, I mean the cooperative security, uh, you can find out also in the uh, OSC uh, documents. But the using the word security in uh, SICA is sometimes controversial because we use in SICA but we have a catalog of uh, CBMs. We do not refer the confidence and security building measures. You cannot find the security in our measures. These are the confidence building measures. It's not CSBMs. These are the CBMs. Because of the fact that the certain issues are very sensitive in the, 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 uh, among the SICA countries. So we use the word security in a little bit cautious way in SICA. That's why we refer our uh, measures as the confidence building measures. These uh, measures, in fact, in the, like in the OSC, in the three, uh, if I may say so, the baskets. The first one is the political military. We call this in the SICA as the military political. Second one is, in fact, the economic and also environmental issues. And the third one, is the human and cultural. It's more or less like the, uh, the OSC. The, there is a basic document in SICA concerning this CBMs. Uh, the, the Ambassador Idrisso, he, he has already mentioned this uh, CBMs. This is a cooperative approach for the implementation of the SICA CBMs. This is a document which was adopted by SICA on 2007. This uh, refers to the CBMs in this dimensions I have already mentioned. Military political, economic environment, and also the third one is the human. The up until now in SICA, there was not a specific work on the military political confidence building measures. And for the last eight years, SICA mainly dealt with the economic issues. And Ambassador Idrisov also has mentioned that the, 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 the cultural CBMs. From the perspective of the Turkish SICA chairmanship, it's not possible to only deal with the transnational threats and the new risks and challenges of 21st century only dealing with the certain issues like the, the border security, transnational threats. From our perspective, the A of the alphabet for dealing with the security issues, in fact, the relations between the states. So this way or other way, we have to develop in SICA the, the certain issues, I mean, the concerning the military political measures. So the first priority for the Turkish chairmanship is to start the work on the military political uh, issues. And I should inform this uh, distinguished audience that the, uh, we have already introduced this in SICA, and we are in the process of establishing a political military subgroup dealing with the specific CBMs in SICA this is under silence procedure, and if I'm not wrong, this silence procedure will end, will end on the uh, end of uh, 31st of March. 
And if this silence procedure will be observed by the member states, first time in SICA, we will have the subgroup on confidence, political military confidence building measures. From our perspective, this is a very good start for SICA to deal with the more practical issues dealing with the political military issues. And we have already uh, proposed uh, meeting of the SICA member countries, chief of general staff within uh, SICA. This is also a proposal from the Turkish chairmanship. We will discuss the details of the how we will uh, bring together the, the chiefs of general staff or the uh, defense, the representative of defense ministries in SICA, and this will be also a very interesting development uh, for SICA. The second issue which we will deal uh, uh, actively in SICA is the human issues. Up until now, we have dealt with the cultural issues, or to compile the ontologies. This is more cultural. This is a very interesting approach, of course, to deal with the cultural issues as a CDMs. But of course, from our perspective, the, from the perspective of the uh, SICA chairmanship, we definitely need to deal with the, the human issues in SICA. So the, the, this also under uh, discussion, and the, I should announce to this distinguished group that the, it's the intention of the Turkish chairmanship to invite uh, the representatives of Odirin OSC, which is the Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights, to make a present come and to make a presentation in one of the SICA uh, meetings, which most probably we will have the uh, Senior Officials Committee meeting in uh, Turkey in Antalya at the beginning of June, and the, under the uh, responsibility of the Turkish chairmanship, uh, we intend to invite the representative uh, of Odir to make a presentation. Not to, it's, it's not to, just to listen their views and how we can deal with all these issues in SICA. This is maybe a, one of the, the aspects of the cooperation with the uh, OSC in the coming uh, days. I don't want to uh, take much of your time. We have a, a very uh, limited time, I know it. Uh, the, the another uh, interesting uh, area that we could explore the cooperation with OSC is, in fact, the issues concerning the environment. It's very interesting that in SICA, we have a specific CBMs for the environmental issues. This is a novelty for the security and stability studies. So the, it's our intention also to establish a direct contact with the, the OSC. And to this time, maybe we will uh, give the, the, our experience in the environmental issues, because there are a number of uh, countries in SICA. Uh, they are directly affected by the environmental issues. And in SICA, Mongolia, if I'm not wrong, is the uh, coordinator country for all these issues. This might be the another uh, area, uh, the possibility to explore the uh, cooperation with OSC. The, the last but not the least, from my personal perspective, in fact, there is a definite need to have a direct relations between the secretariats of SICA and OSC. And the Turkish chairmanship is, in fact, we could authorize the uh, secretariat because the Russo procedure of SICA, it gives uh, such a uh, responsibility and authority to the chairmanship. Uh, we could authorize the uh, secretariat of SICA to get in touch with the, the OSC secretariat and to establish not only a regular uh, contact, but also the regular consultations with uh, OSC. And it's our intention in the coming days to work on these uh, possibilities and to explore the, the ways uh, for the uh, further cooperation. 
And in that respect, I would like to uh, refer to the OSC document. We, we know that the OSC has a number of advanced documents on the cooperation among the uh, regional uh, organizations. The OSC has a document on the, the platform for cooperative security and also OSC has the Maastricht strategy of 2003 concerning the relations with the other uh, organizations. So we, have to, we hope that the uh, uh, Lithuanian uh, chair, if I'm not wrong, the Lithuanian uh, representative is not uh, in the room, but the, the, the Kazakhstan is now in the Troika of uh, uh, OSC. So the, they are dealing with, the, they will deal with the, the, the Asian uh, partners of cooperation uh, in the context of uh, OSC. I'm sure that the Kazakhstan will inform the OSC Troika uh, in that uh, respect and to establish more regular contacts and cooperation with uh, OSC. I should say that we are living in a world that it's not possible for the single organization to deal with everything. <laughs> this is a straight jacket for the uh, international community. Now we are talking about the security, not only in Europe, not up until the, the Ural Mountains, but we are talking about the security of the Euro-Asia and also the Euro-Atlantic. Uh, this is really indivisibility of security. And the, the certain concepts like the indivisibility of security, this should not be a lip service for the international community. Security is really linked to each other. And the, 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 like the, the Europe, uh, the, the not only the, the certain parts of the Asia, but whole Asia needs such kind of uh, cooperation. Because if you look the Asia, there is no single organization covers all the security and stability issues. This includes Shanghai Cooperation Organization, it includes the Collective Security Organization, it even it includes ASEAN. ASEAN is not dealing directly with the security issues, including the ARF, I mean the Asian Regional Forum. So in that respect, uh, SICA has an advantage of the large membership, and it has an advantage of more uh, structured organization. Uh, so I don't want to take time, and I thank you very much once again the CSIS for organizing such a meeting. And if uh, there are any questions at the end of the panel, I would be delighted to uh, answer these questions. Thank you very much. Thank you for that presentation. Uh, we'll move directly to Ambassador Bakishev, please. Thank you very much. First of all, uh, let me also join uh, my colleagues in thanking the Center for Strategic and uh, International Studies uh, for convening this meeting and uh, uh, for warm hospitality and excellent arrangements. I also wish to thank uh, ambassadors of Kazakhstan and uh, Turkey for contributing to this forum. Uh, in fact, uh, Ambassador Idrisov uh, uh, contributed a lot uh, to SICA's development in uh, formative years uh, in his different capacities, including uh, when he was uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Kazakhstan. In, in 1992, in his maiden speech to the UN General Assembly, uh, Kazakhstan's president, uh, Mr. Nusultan Nazarbayev, proposed to convince SICA. Uh, since then, SICA has become a reality. It is now a very important uh, multilateral instrument for dealing with Asian security problems. Uh, SICA's objectives and uh, activities are diverse and are complex, uh, but to make our task easier, I would like to dwell upon, on, uh, upon uh, very important elements of uh, SICA and uh, to try to approach SICA from different sides. Of course, uh, Mr. Ambassador Bilan Tulun already uh, re made remarks on very key elements of SICA as basic documents and uh, the essence of cooperative approach to security issues in Asia. Uh, 
uh, Sikh came to existence uh, in a very interesting time uh, when a bipolar system collapsed, new countries in Eurasian continent emerged and a new threat and a challenge became a headache for international and the regional community. So in this environment, uh, Asian states uh, created SICA. It is a unique platform uh, that offers equal opportunities to each and every Asian state to participate in the debate and the decision making on a broad range of security problems. I would like to underline that uh, apart from other activities, uh, SICA is playing an uh, as an instrument of, serves as an instrument of preventive diplomacy. As uh, Ambassador Bilantulun already mentioned, uh, SICA is a forum of dissimilar countries. Uh, despite that, important decisions are being made or already have been taken on a wide range of issues, including uh, security area. Uh, in short, uh, we can say that uh, SICA is a uh, preventive diplomat diplomacy at work. Uh, in uh, 2007, member states adopted a very important document, cooperative approach to the implementation of SICA CBMs. And uh, uh, I would like to uh, confirmed that its uh, current chairman, Turkey, is very serious on implementing elements of cooperative security. Uh, and uh, uh, Turkey has uh, necessary elements, necessary uh, uh, conceptual vision of how to implement uh, security, uh, cooperative security in Asia, because it has uh, experienced uh, people, uh, dip diplomats, and uh, uh, it is showing leadership. One important element is flexibility of SICA. Any Asian country can become a member of SICA. It is genuinely open and inclusive, and the member states are free to bring any issue to the table. Uh, one uh, important uh, fact is that, as uh, uh, previous speakers uh, underlined, despite this diverse profile, member states uh, have decided, agreed, that this issue will not prevent SICA to uh, do its job in addressing security issues in Asia. So another important uh, element is voluntary participation of member states in uh, activities. It is very convenient uh, because um, that, uh, that makes uh, room for creative thinking, for creative energy to flow. Uh, but uh, however, uh, member states are expected to be active at least in one area. Uh, they may serve as coordinators or co-coordinators of certain CBMs, or uh, they can contribute without being a coordinator. Uh, they can contribute uh, financially. Cooperation among Asian states towards promoting peace, security, and uh, stability is a key objective. According to Almaty Act, dialogue and uh, consultations are necessary step, steps to develop the SICA as a forum. So another uh, point I would like to make is uh, the importance of consensus in decision making. But of course, consensus cannot be a purpose in itself. But it is a very convenient way of uh, decision making and addressing uh, the existing issues. One interesting uh, element added to uh, SICA is one or two countries can together implement CBMs and share their experience through secretariat with other membership or with other members. 
uh, we work on a step-by-step -step basis. It is crucial both for, uh, for sustaining balance and uh, achieving our objectives. As uh, Ambassador Idris have uh, said, uh, Kazakhstan and uh, Mr. Uh, Ambassador Tulun said, Kazakhstan uh, indeed played important role in bringing uh, Asian countries under the umbrella of SICA because uh, uh, one factor uh, on Kazakhstan's side was a beneficial factor was its uh, abandoning of uh, existing and uh, functional nuclear, nuclear arsenal. Kazakhstan also uh, had been a catalyst for the creation of the nuclear free zone in Central Asia as well. All seeker meetings uh, before 2007 were uh, held in Kazakhstan, uh, and uh, with uh, Turkey taking the uh, helm of SICA, uh, now we can say that it is a truly regional security forum. Uh, now, uh, Turkey is a chair, uh, and uh, in uh, this, uh, I would like to underline that Member states uh, express their full support to Turkey, taking into, the, into uh, consideration the fact that Turkey has been very valuable and uh, active uh, SICA member uh, from the day one. Uh, we have uh, Ambassador Chinar Aldemir, uh, who is now serving as the executive director of SICA Secretariat. He has vast experience. Uh, he has served as also the ambassador to Kazakhstan. and. Uh, uh, I think he's a s most suitable person to take uh, the Secretariat forward. Uh, one uh, important uh, country to uh, seek is uh, currently Afghanistan. Afghanistan is also a member country, but also uh, uh, Afghanistan needs the most, uh, the assistance of uh, SICA member states. Uh, uh, recently, uh, SICA joined uh, the Afghanistan core group. It is also a very important development for uh, for uh, SICA. I think decision was taken just last month. Uh, member states uh, provide assistance to Afghanistan uh, bilaterally and multilaterally whenever uh, need arises. So. so uh, from now, I would like to turn to SICA OEC cooperation uh, because uh, Afghanistan is also uh, very key for OEC. So uh, here, uh, I would like to also join others in uh, expressing view that, uh, that uh, uh, inspiration behind SICA came from OEC experience, especially at the turn of 80s, 90s, uh, there are obvious similarities uh, in the connections between the SICA and the OEC. Striking similarities in their principles, guiding relationships, and uh, uh, I would like to uh, I would like to uh, underline that uh, in SICA, apart from other Asian, at least Asian uh, organizations and groupings, SICA has principles, guiding relations. This is a very important set of principles that makes our job easy whenever we deal with uh, frictions among member states. It is easier to remind, uh, to refer to the existing uh, declaration on the principles. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, uh, OEC is also uh, is on board of SICA as a uh, as a as an observer. Uh, in uh, our view, closer interaction is beneficial for both SICA and uh, OEC. Specific areas of mutual interest, in our opinion, may include military and the political aspects of security, fight against terrorism, conflict prevention economy, environment, and the cooperation in human dimension. Uh, Kazakhstan, in its uh, capacity as the chairman in office of OEC, tried to 
contribute to this process, as Mr. Ambassador Idrisov already mentioned, uh, last year, SICA and the OEC had a very important ministerial event in Istanbul, uh, and they discussed Eurasian security issues and the economic cooperation issues. Uh, Afghanistan requires attention of both forums, uh, cooperation uh, in fight against the drug problem in its all aspects is also at the top of uh, their agendas. In 2010, the SIC and OEC had summit meetings in Istanbul and Astana respectively. One important outcome was the fact that uh, member states of SIC and the OEC both supported uh, collectively uh, the process of stabilization of Afghanistan. It means that both sides, both parts of Eurasian continent uh, supported Afghanistan uh, in its, uh, uh, in its uh, work uh, to stabilize the situation. So in 2010, uh, effective measures had been taken by the chairman of the CK and the OEC in the context of the events in Kyrgyzstan. In Kazakhstan's case, Astana played a political role in stabilization of the country and provided emergency humanitarian assistance. Astana will continue to support Kyrgyzstan through both bilateral and uh, multilateral agencies. In short, Kazakhstan's role in uh, OEC and uh, Turkey's ongoing chairmanship of SICA have added new dynamism and uh, produced practical uh, results. Uh, we in Astana think that uh, uh, two organizations, uh, forums, could cooperate on consensual issues like uh, uh, new threats and challenges, including terrorism, uh, trafficking, uh, of course, where it is appropriate. Uh, since uh, Sika region is mostly developing, I think in economic dimension, in the language of uh, OEC, uh, we could uh, try to cooperate in uh, such areas as uh, transport corridors, energy security, and efficiency. Uh, environment, of course, is a top priority for SICA as well. And uh, uh, lastly, I'd like to dwell upon uh, human dimension, uh, because uh, it is a very important uh, item for uh, OEC, as we know. Uh, I would like to quote uh, uh, a quotation from uh, Sika's uh, declaration on the principles, and I quote, respect for human rights and the fundamental freedoms of all individuals, uh, irrespective of their race, sex, and their religion is important, I unquote. Uh, so uh, Sika uh, is uh, not only uh, has already agreed principle here, uh, but also uh, has been uh, dealing with uh, different aspects of, uh, uh, of uh, humanitarian, uh, human dimension. Uh, we would like to uh, see some progress in uh, inter-civilizational religious affairs. Uh, so in conclusion, let me, uh, let me uh, say that uh, we are interested in uh, uh, closer cooperation, and uh, Kazakhstan is ready to, to play its part in this. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador Bakishev. And now we move directly to our third speaker on, on this panel, Ambassador Erkchin. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like also to thank to the CSIS and Dr. Ali Reza for inviting me to uh, such a gathering. Uh, in fact, uh, I'd like uh, to point out initially uh, that I'm here uh, to talk with the American and uh, the U.S. Uh, State Department officials uh, to talk about uh, the candidacy, of my ca uh, candidacy for the OSC Secretary General's position. So uh, by coincidence, I'm here and I'm happy uh, to be able to attend uh, such an occasion. I uh, attended the summit meeting uh, of SICA. Uh, where Kazakhstan uh, transferred uh, the chairmanship to Turkey and 
then uh, we have listened uh, today all the previous speakers. They shed light on the structure uh, uh, of the SICA and its strengths and, uh, and its future. Uh, of course, uh, SICA is uh, at a very initial stage, uh, but uh, there is a large room uh, for cooperation uh, with the OSCE. Uh, I'd like to, uh, on this occasion, I'd like to make a few uh, brief remarks with regard to the OSCE and uh, the potential uh, of co co potential cooperation between two organizations. Um, in an increasingly uh, challenging security environment, uh, as Ambassador Tulon pointed out, uh, the crisis confronted in today's world require more than ever uh, local, national, regional, and international cooperation. Uh, regional organizations uh, such as the OSCE are uh, critical players, not only in the regional context, but also in the global framework, as laid out clearly in the Chapter 8 of the United Nations Charter. Uh, do, the OSCE is uh, well placed to tackle many challenges in its region. Of course, the geographical proximity has advantages like shared history and cultural affinity. At this point, I would like to underline the importance uh, of improving the OSCE SICA cooperation, particularly in the Eurasian region. There is already a political framework for such an improved cooperation, namely the platform for cooperative security. Uh, uh, it is a, uh, an operational document adopted uh, on the occasion of the OSCE summit meeting in Istanbul in 1999. The goal of the platform for co cooperative security is to strengthen the mu mutually reinforcing nature of the relationship between those organizations and institutions concerned with the promotion of comprehensive security. The OSC is a key forum for democracy and human rights, as well as uh, for Euro, uh, arms control and confidence, confidence building. It has also a significant role to play in preventing conflicts, management of crisis and post-conflict uh, rehabilitation. All those uh, fields are potential fields where the SICA will be instrumental. Uh, in that regard, SICA, uh, the general expectation in Turkey and in the region and the member countries is, will be increasingly an important regional organization. Kazakhstan should take the pride of the creation of such an organization. With its diverse membership, flexible uh, structure, and cooperative approach, it will definitely have a greater, greater role to play in security and stability in the future. It does have a niche uh, in the Eurasian security structure. The deteriorating security situation in the Central Asia, and particularly in Afghanistan, as indicated by Ambassador Bakishev, uh, also justifies the uh, pressing need for closer regional cooperation between the relevant organizations. Instability in Afghanistan affects all the countries in the region. Threats emanating from Afghanistan, including drugs, drug trafficking, extremist ideology, terrorism, undermine both the security of bordering states and uh, the OSC region and beyond. Of course, uh, uh, the, uh, not only the situation in Afghanistan, but the uh, incidents, uh, the crisis in Kyrgyzstan was also alarming, an alarming signal uh, for those uh, regional organizations last year. So I'd like to conclude uh, my remarks by emphasizing uh, the uh, crucial importance of close, regular, close and regular working relations to be developed between uh, the OSC and SICA and Secretary General of the OSC and Director of SICA in dealing with the issues of common concern. Thank you.
Thank you, Ambassador Eric Chin. I mean, one of the uh, more fascinating aspects of this uh, um, uh, exercise, certainly for me, and I would hope that for some of the people, uh, or most of the people participating, is to learn more about not just each organization, but the extent to which that they can actually uh, cooperate. And listen to all three of you, I mean, there's plenty of potential, obviously, for, uh, for developing this cooperation. And also, uh, to um, refer back to uh, what Ambassador Drisov uh, said, it is a, s a subject that not too many people in Washington have been following closely, the, uh, how uh, much this cooperation is, is developing and how uh, it ought to be of relevance and, uh, and attention in, in Washington. So from that point of view, I think this was a good panel, as was the previous panel. Uh, if you have any, uh, if you don't have any burning questions, we'll go straight to the, to the next panel as we're running late. Uh, you can certainly grab the, uh, the speakers afterwards because we're going to be having a reception uh, just outside uh, as soon as the next panel is, is finished. But if anybody's got a question, at least one, we could take it. Otherwise, we'll just move on. Please, Margarita. Go ahead. Can you take the mic? No, take. Oh, sorry. Please. The organization SICA is quite unique in terms of membership. You have not only a lot of Asian countries, but also several Middle East, Middle Eastern countries. You have Palestine and Israel. You have Iran and Iraq. Uh, Afghanistan. You have from Asia and uh, Jordan. Given the turmoil in the Middle East, given the problems there, as well as the ongoing military operations in in Iraq, um, are there concrete plans of SICA, concrete initiatives? Um, that uh, that you can quote at this point. Thank you. I'm going to uh, invite Ambassador Bakisha because I took notes while he was speaking, and he talked about the preventive diplomacy um, aspect of the of the effort. Now, in this case, we're not talking about preventive diplomacy, and maybe we even have ongoing crises. Would you like to pick that up, and then I I might invite uh, either. either Uh, in my understanding, uh, preventive diplomacy uh, can be helpful to prevent, but uh, when a crisis is there, uh, one can uh, hope for uh, just uh, uh, for for real mechanisms if uh, these mechanisms are there. Uh, but uh, probably uh, Mr. Ambassador Bidin Tulun uh, can address uh, uh, this issue because. Uh, as a chairman, Turkey uh, uh, has been uh, pushing for, uh, trying to push uh, more uh, in military political dimension as well, and uh, maybe uh, in uh, some uh, areas of uh, new, threats, uh, new threats and challenge where Turkey is coordinated. Maybe uh, there can be uh, certain things that can serve as an answer. Thank you. Thank you. Ambassador Tulum. Thank you. I should say that the key word in uh, SICA is to go step by step. It's not an easy task. I have already mentioned that the, 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 uh, the, the, all the questions, uh, it might turn into a, a, a real question uh, in a single meeting. So that's why uh, I should say that the, 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 uh, especially in the human uh, dimension, uh, we should go step by step. That's why I referred uh, to, uh, for example, uh, ODIR. I take your question not as the uh, to go into the details of the certain uh, issues in Middle East that the, not only SICA, nobody can uh, solve in a uh, day or so. So what we could do in the human dimension there is an, a key in the other international uh, organizations. For example, OSC. OSC, large uh, experience and also uh, a very uh, important a key in uh, human issues. So what we thought as the current chair of uh, SICA, the, the start from the, the, the beginning. For example, just to invite ODIR, which is a competent uh, body of uh, OSC to deal with the uh, the democracy issues and also the human uh, right issues, to just come and to make a presentation to the audience, which you mentioned number of countries. In the presence of all these countries, I mean the, the Iran, uh, on the other side, the Israel, uh, Turkey, Iraq, Bahrain, 
sitting together at the same, around the same table, and listen to the uh, presentation uh, by a representative of country, it's, uh, from our perspective, a good start. So, of course, we do not have a, a ready solutions to each and every question, but we have to start from somewhere. So our perspective for the SICA chairmanship, in fact, uh, from a little bit vision to action. We have a vision up until now. This is a process. Now there is a time for SICA to turn all, at least the, the certain parts of our vision into action. We are at the beginning now. But we should remember that the, while we started the OSC process many, many years ago in 1973, it was a dream. So consider that the, 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 who can predict that the Kazakhstan in such a short period of time uh, will become the chairman of uh, OSC. So we should be uh, patient. We should go step by step. It would be uh, better not to complicate the, the issues and uh, to, you know, to, 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 to go in this direction uh, with the, the political will. Thank you. Thank you. With that, let me uh, uh, close this panel and we'll move directly to, to our next panel. Uh, my colleague Andy Cutchins will uh, take over from me. And then uh, uh, we will proceed to, to the reception. Thank you all for speaking. <laughs>